ready to fight? You ready? Do it. All right, ready to go round one, and as usual, so is Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. This is a man who has seen it all, totally unfazed by anything that could be coming his way. The majority of his UFC fights have gone the distance, but we have seen an uptick in aggression lately as he's moved into welterweight contention. Another big one for Gamebred tonight. That punch was deflected, nicely done. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. Oh, tagged him with the uppercut. All right, if you're the wrestler, you just ain't a big uppercut. Can't get reckless with your takedown attempts here, but certainly on the wrong side of the striking situation here early. Well, you can't reach. You can't reach and you can't get desperate. You gotta take your time, you gotta set everything up if you wanna take this guy down, especially when he has built a game plan that seems to be working. Awesome level change, great timing. Making all these shots count. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with five. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Game break getting pounded by those hammer fists. We might get a stoppage here. Beautiful transition. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Nice job by him there. He was being dominated and is able to reverse position. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the field. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground, though. These guys were going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, he's gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. Left hook to the head. He's got to start kicking, kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. He's looking for that left hand, not there. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. And that one certainly found the target. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Nice counter left there. Denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. Oh, nice body shot. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Lands a solid kick right there. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Immediately gets the underhook. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. Masvidal's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Under a minute to go. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Oh, there go. Nice straight right lance. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. Oh, nice takedown defense. Now some separation. 15 seconds to go. Nice straight punch. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, I love that. He lands a huge 
strike, and now he's going to flap the gums a little bit. Flapping the gums, he's dancing. Oh, wow. To be that comfortable, it's crazy to watch. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Ready to fight. Ready. Fight. All right, here we go with round two. Oh, and there's that inside leg kick. And just slap yourself hard on the inside of your leg and tell me how that feels. I mean, it really hurts because that's the soft right. part of your leg. So you... Oh, he... All right, so he catches the kick and promptly counters with the takedown and puts him on his back. Nicely done there. He knew exactly what he was doing. He knew if he had an opportunity to secure a leg off the kick, he would go right to his takedown and it worked perfection. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Oh, huge ground strike there. I can see the cut man's actually getting excited. In position for a submission attempt here. Oh, that looks tight. Great job maintaining position there. You never want to lose position to chase a submission. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Massive shot from the top. All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself with some hands, <laughs> you can fall in love with those. You can fall in love with the striking, but he is showing tonight that everything starts with his wrestling. He gives you the level change, which then in turn helps him land in the striking. He looks fantastic. I did not expect him to look this good in the boxing tonight. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Arch, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Posture is up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it's, it, it, no takedown is not fought. No revert. Masvidal's now looking for a Darce choke. Oh, it's getting deep. guys are back and forth with the submission defense wins this transition. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Another strike gets through from the top position. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Two minutes now to go round two. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. The uppercut flails and misses. Nice. Nice. Nicely done. Nice switch kick. Oh, beautiful hook. Missed with that right hand. Educated jab there by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. But not even just a jab, right? You watch Masvidal throw that jab. His backhand is always perfectly in place. Nothing is wasted. He's not loading up on the strikes. He's just letting it flow. Jorge Masvidal is a very educated boxer, and it's showing in his performance tonight. Oh, he lands another 
takedown here, just doing a nice job, not telegraphing his shot, clean entries. The Olympian's got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities where you can either escape or sweep. And now some separation. And the horn sounds on round two. Ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh! He's hurt so bad. He's got to find safety, find a way that he can recover. Check that last one. Well, you don't blame him for continuing to badger that cut. Things are getting bloody, champ. Yeah, you got to be careful now because as it bleeds, you got to worry about the blood going into the eye. Now is time to start being on high alert. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. And now Masvidal's cut is getting worse. The cut man chomping at the bit to get in there. They'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. All right, well, that swelling has essentially rendered him a one-eyed fighter, and to that end, the referee has paused the action. He calls for the ringside position. And here comes the doctor. The doctor's going to take a look at him, check out the swelling, give him the old finger test to see if he can see his opponent in front of him and decide whether or not he can continue. And it looks as though he is going to allow the fighter to continue. So a nice pop from the crowd as that decision is made. He's got to go for it now, though. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so the ringside position has made his way back to his seat. The referee gets the action back underway. The fans are excited this fight's going to continue. Absolutely, and I'm just as excited myself. I want to see these guys compete. I want to see who wins. I don't want it to stop because of a cut. I want to see the best fighter get their hand raised at the end of the night. Luckily, we get to try to do that. And just misses with that big right hand. Every strike he lands, that cut gets worse. Yeah, it's getting worse. And he needed to address it a little bit sooner because now that damage is starting to pile up. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Well, I don't think his corner is going to step in here, but maybe the referee will take a close look. I mean, that eye is disgusting. Oh, so well. Well, it's not due to a lack of effort. He continues to throw, but this is like double-A striking. This is not high level. Yeah, you can't be missing. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike, but to be whiffing like this, it only exhausts you with every moment you try to throw to knock his opponent out when you're just catching air. It, it doesn't feel good. It's also embarrassing. <laughs> oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Masvidal doing a nice job there raising the guard to protect the eye with that block. You can't allow that cut to get worse as this fight continues. 
Man, these guys have some chins on them. Oh, my God. Less than two minutes to go in round three. All right, big storyline starting to develop here. That cut really starting to gap wide open. As well. oh! Nice jab by Gainbrook. 90 seconds now to go in this one. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, the damage just continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athletes, if this was a movie, I might just walk out. I don't need to see anymore. I mean, I just don't need to. Oh, my goodness. Another knockdown. Oh, another heavy shot gets through. Herb Dean steps in. Oh, my God. What a fight. Well, make no mistake about it. He is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. All right, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 58 seconds of the third round. You're playing the winner by TKO, Ben Funky!